Welcome back everyone, I'm the Depressed Dior, and this is Ador, Master of the Broken World. Where we last left off, we are just cleaning house. So, let's continue. We're going to some Dwarven Lands next. Then after that, we will see what he has ready for us. Dwarves, Blistas, and Catapults. We can easily handle this. No cover, though. That's a little annoying. Oh, that hurt a lot. We're going to have to fight our way through. God, that hurts a lot. Holy cow. Stone skin. Okay, I'm taking a little less damage. Okay, one down. Yay for regeneration. Bam. Reached level 20. Yay. And I have a bunch of um, things we can pick. I'm going to go ahead and start going for precise strike and get parry. I hopefully we'll get round attack. That'll be awesome. Don't think I'll get it in time though. All right, um, let's go ahead and do some repairs. What do we got here? Brethren of Light, really? That's, y that's your, that's what you're going with? All right, let's go ahead and take out the Brethren of Light then. It'll be a nice warm up. Ah, uh, these are actually somewhat tough brother on a light. Hey, a fairy. Oh, actually they're running away. Eh, let them leave. Hey, 100 gold. We got local militia. And hunters. Alright. Here. We'll go ahead and put some, uh... Dwarven clan here. And... Hey, iron resource. We can actually rob the, the uh, Tanner store if we really want to, but we don't really need to. Instead, this place built three shipyards. Why are there three shipyards? It actually increases income? I didn't know that. Whatever. Does that take an action? Doesn't. 
Oh, shipyard takes up all the slots. Okay, I understand now. Well, in that case, let's go ahead and just build ourselves a mine. Hunters, huh? They have three heroes. I'm going to attack here just so we can cut them off. This is probably going to get pretty ugly very quickly, especially when I'm going by myself. They are just running away. Hey, eight centaurs. I'm pretty sure he's changing his garrisons. Hey, good job. Hey, centaurs. When did I get those? Yeah, you can have them. Actually, he has four heroes. That's pretty amazing. Alright, we're going to deal with swordsmen next. Hey, a horde. I wonder what that's going to be. This one won't run away because there's a hero on the uh, province. Oh, never mind. They do run away. Okay. Let them leave. Warrior, militiamen, and slingers. Okay. What level are you? This isn't his first hero, though. This is, his, I think, his second. Level zero warrior. Okay. Level zero, but he has pretty. No, that's about that's about the right amount of HP. Inspiration. Dead. 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 So he didn't level up that warrior at all. He had a few spells and that's about it. Both of which were cantrips. And now I'm fighting a scout, militiaman, brigand, and spearman. Okay. And they also are not fantastic. Alright, this is his first hero, level 14. Pretty decent. And he went with Ranger, which I believe is... He has spell power, so I'm guessing he's uh, a uh, scout, scout wizard. Which is fine by me. I'm going to go ahead and put up an air shield. Actually, screw that. We're going haste. Next. You can shoot from here. Three damage. Now, scouts are generally a pain to deal with, simply because they would um, always kill all my healers and stuff. But since I'm going by myself, without an army, we don't need to worry about any of that. Four damage. That's because he has spell power. 
And dead. Alright, there's his other two guys. Hey, a labyrinth. And a thieves guild. Alright, we're just gonna keep pushing up this way then. Actually, let's go ahead and get ourselves nothing, because we can't. Okay. How's your how's your gear? And it's holding on. Alright. Let them leave. Yay! Boo! Aww. Oh, we finally lost our horses. That's okay. We can live without them. Let's hire some... Dark Brotherhood. Why not? Storehouse. Good. Is it store? Repair everything. Also, did I get anything from uh, hitting level 20? Doesn't look like it. Nope. Doesn't look like it. That's okay. We're going straight for their base. I didn't even take a look at their garrison. What, what do they have? <laughs> oh, jeez. Now this is mean. He put his ogres right on his base. Alright, I'll go ahead and show off ogres. Um, I'm, there's a pretty good chance I'm not going to win this fight. These are ogres. Rank 3 units. Very strong. They have a crushing blow attack, which uh, allows them to... Um, it spends a lot of their stamina, but they do, do an additional 50% more damage. They can also eat, eat corpses. They have some hill knowledge. Alright, ogres have long inhabited the hills and caves of Ador. These enormous humanoids aroused terror in the uh, peaceful population. They are well known for their taste for human flesh. Ogres have no social structure and live alone or in small ca uh, clans at best. Orcus tribes often form a weird sort of alliance with ogres, sharing their loot and feeding them with occasional orc uh, who has fallen out of grace with the chieftain. Or ogres are stupid. Or, uh, in combat, they rely excessively on bl uh, blunt force, which nature has overblessed them with. Often, they start devouring their dead enemies right in the ba in the battlefield. Uh, such a meal heals an ogre's wounds almost instantly. Only does about ten, but whatever. Okay. What's the? Yeah, I can't do can't go there. All right, I think our best bet is here. We're probably not going to be able to handle these guys. Just saying. Is this swamp? Yes, it is. Okay, I'm surrounded by swamp. That's the only kind of good news I have right now. Alright, we'll go ahead and wait this out. Alright. Take that out. Yeah, these guys are gonna rip me a new one. Just saying. Bam. Alright. Crushing blow. Ton of damage. But we took it. Okay, next step. Magic armor. Get crushing blow again. I take the damage. What view? Crushing blow. Well. 
Bam. Dead. But so are we. Alright, we're doing a lot of good damage. Uh, unfortunately, my defenses are pretty much gone. Okay, he just ate his own buddy. That's fine. I actually really need him to do that. That's ogre actually has defenses. Smash. Smash. Okay. Paste it up. Okay, I'm I can wait them out. Fantastic. They're not gonna attack me and they're not gonna move away, so. I will happily abuse the system. Freaking ogres. Um, ogres are not exactly the best thing to have. Hey, it ended up being a draw. I didn't even know that I could do that. Hey, you gained a valuable experience, but you didn't level. Hey, goblins invaded that place. Okay. So, yeah, it ended up being a draw. I did kill one of the ogres and heavily wound the others though, so it wasn't all for naught. What we can do here though is to demolish this uh, granary. Come on, you gotta have it. Are you serious? You can't. Oh, let me guess, you can only put outpost on, uh... Okay, it's not letting me put an outpost here. Oh, do I have to get rid of everything? Alright. Let's repair first, then. Alright. Oh, there it is. I'll post. Now what we can do here is hire troops. So what we're going to do is we're just going to swarm. Attack. There's only five ogres now. Looks like we can win this without casualty. Done. Oh wow, they're heavily wounded. I could have probably done this without all this, but whatever. Oh, I have swamp knowledge, so I can actually go through swamps without an issue.
Crushing blow. Goodbye, thug. Bye, ogres. Yay, leveled. Wow, this time I just got additional HP. Like, that's kind of weird. I never had that happen before. I guess it's since I'm so high level, my like my uh, hero stats are maxed out. Level 6 wizard. You know what? Quick combat. No limits. Lost one guy. Another scout. Okay. Hey, it's all these guys. Quick combat, no limits. Lost a few shaman, that's about it. Magic strike, hmm. Hey, the warrior's back. I'm just quick combat combating at this point. Began a siege, finally. Aw. Oh. Yeah. That's bad. It's a uh, increased price of horses. But I'm not going to worry about anything else right now. All right. Commander Spearmid and something. Spearman. Okay. And this is a level 4 commander. Ow. We're just going to quick combat, because you guys already get the gist. I, literally, I don't even need these other troops now. I didn't know you can actually force a draw, though. That was something I never experienced before. Your spies report that a local shaman, blah blah, has been practicing deep technology. People have seen horrible creatures summoned from the underworld itself. A good start. Send him some gems. <laughs> the shaman expresses his thanks for the generous gift. He sends you a scroll with a recently discovered spell as a token of his gratitude. Well, that's not too bad. <laughs> They're not so happy now. Whatever. And just continue exploring, doesn't matter. Sure, buy the map. It's a uh, treasury of the ancients, uh, he asking for 100 gold for the map. Sure. Map's yours, but it turns out there's no treasure in the indicated place. By the time it's become clear, the venture's gone. Of course him. Okie dokie. Wow, this place is about to uh, go nuts. Here, have some Dark Brotherhood. Alright, what time is it? Okay. Let's, um, let's go ahead and do this. Assault.
<laughs> no towers, we're good. And we'll just quick combat this. No limits. When? All right. Best op the best offense. Fight off an attack of of, um, of your own shard. So, fortunately, we don't get anything for doing this besides just points, I guess. Portals of the shard call you the astral master. Leave the furious. The legends of your deeds will be remembered and passed on for the, uh, from one generation to another for 260 years. So. I took a while, so that gave me a little bit of a penalty, but besides that, pretty good. Alright. I think it's just score, though. It's not that important. And why not? We'll go ahead and take care of the uh, stuff here, I guess. Actually, I'll probably go ahead and break it off into another video. We'll deal with the dialogue first, though. Ah. All right, this is uh, Vianta, the Fairy Queen. Kindly, kindly accept my greetings, Leaf. I am Vianta, the Fairy Queen, and the patron of forest creatures. May peace abide between you, me and you for the well-being of all living creatures whose fate are our responsibility. Uh, happy to meet you, Your Majesty. It is a pleasure to meet a master for whom politeness is not an empty word, but there is no need to address me by a title. Let's leave your majesty for my subjects. You can treat me as an equal, as we are all equal in the astral. Okay. What are you doing in the astral? I am creating a world full of ha harmony and beauty, a world where nature is not corrupted by wars and violence, where each and every mortal is happy, a world reigned by love. Okay. Do, 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 do. Hmm. I see you honor the laws of karma. I see you have heeded Oinor's word. <laughs> if you buy heeded, you mean pissed him off. It is he who puts his uh, law of karma above all else. Oinor is wise, but his actions come from his mind, not from his heart. The law of karma is merely a force th that punishes evil. Doing good deeds just because you're afraid of punishment is no great, great, great achievement. Far better it is to do good because your heart tells you to, not, uh, not because you fear retribution. An uh, interesting thought, uh, actually. If I do good, what difference does it make uh, why I do it? The difference is within you. Take Oinar and Bella, for example. Do they have much in common? Both are doing the same thing, creating worlds. But Oinar cr uh, creates his world to stand up against chaos, while Bella is trying to satisfy, satisfy his lust for world domination. Your motives are important indeed, Leaf. If you do not act with your heart, sooner or later you'll be trapped by your own mind and forced to do evil for the greater good. Interesting thought. Uh, let me think it over. Okay, so we are now, we have gotten the fourth um, master to, join, uh, to visit us. And I'm going to go ahead and call this a video. And uh, when we come back, I will go over the details of what shards are available to us and so forth. So, till then everyone, I am the Depressed Eeyore and this was Oinor, or not Oinor, this was uh, Ador, Master of the Broken World. See you guys next time.